Yes, no, it's next year, May, I think. So it's actually coming out pretty quickly. My bad, I'm just reaching back here. Yeah, I'd call that a... Yeah, I'd say that's a... May, I'd say, is like start of the summer movie, you know what I mean? Because you really haven't hit any of the uh, big ones yet. Like, the blockbusters usually don't come out until... Uh, actually, no, didn't Endgame come out in, like, May? When it released that one year? Yeah. Yeah, I, w I will say um, I'm not once again, just like you, I'm not this like super most knowledgeable about everybody else's pets. The only three I know are Wonder Woman's, Batman's and Superman's, which is obviously Crypto, Ace and then Jumpa. Wonder Woman's pet is a kangaroo named Jumpa. And I only know that from one dumbass Wonder Woman comic. <laughs> I read recent no, and there's a couple others, right? Like, I can't remember the Flash and Green Lanterns, but there were pets, right? Like, it's kind, of, it was, it's one of those things where most heroes end up with like a little pet. Even Hawkeye had his like dog or whatever. But I don't know the, the that's not the point of this one. This point of this one is just to have fun with it. They have their own plot and their own story, and they're not pretending. Like they even they even said, right? We're all test animals, or um. So it is interesting. I did think it was interesting that um, Ace, which is supposed to be originally Batman's dog, uh, got like the power of indestructibleness because originally he's just a dog. I mean, he's Batman's dog, so obviously he does some cool stuff. I mean, he does stuff, I think, but like he's just a dog, right? Like relatively speaking, he has no superpowers is what I mean. He's not indestructible from what I remember in the comics. He's just a smart dog. Uh, kind of like Batman is just a really smart and skilled human. <laughs> no offense to him. That's just what he is. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the comics were even gorier than the the games were because they could go all out. You know what I mean? Did I don't know? I hadn't really heard any complaints. For, oh no, I heard somebody was talking, but they were just talking shit in general. I didn't hear them talking shit about this movie. They were just like, if DC films are going down in quality, but or animated films. I was gonna say the ant. It, it's not even that it's the it's the color shading style right whereas most of the other ones were like if you think of justice league war which was pretty old even now i think right isn't that the one i'm thinking of um just looking at some lining up pictures like let's see if that one versus Injustice animated movie. Just looking at some steals real quick to see what the, the art looks like because it's been a second. Uh, I mean... Yeah, but it's not bad. It's just different. It's it's a little... less uh, organic, I think, than their other style was, which their other style was kind of this more new age style whereas i think injustice really leaned into the the style of the characters at that time right it's got like a grimmer superman and like i don't know like just looking at these stills right here it doesn't really look that bad to me like once again i think it's just the the literal art style of like how they're drawing his face like right he just gets a real chiseled jaw and and yeah yeah which Honestly, I, like I said, I could, I guess I could see why people are like up and down. But honestly, for me, I, I'm excited for it. I gotta go watch it still. Good, yeah, it should be. No, you're good. Go for it, man. It's alright. I had to put up the thing too, so we're good. I'll see if I can farm around some stuff while we're going. Uh, how's everyone doing today? Everybody having a good day? Good eye, good eye, good eye. No, okay. 
Um, that's pretty much all I can do in Aus Aussie. Aussie voice, there's not much I could do about it. See, I, I always go into like an English voice when I do that. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot those are all coming in. Oh, you're good. I was just talking about the stream. <laughs> Gotta love dogs, man. I, I, it's kind of where I'm at. I, I, even with the Eternals, which I want to go watch still in theaters because it has a bunch of effects. I'm just like at this point, I'm like, do I just wait? It's gonna come out on Disney Plus in like, I don't know, a couple weeks. Oh, I'm sure they did. E Eternals Disney Plus date, uh, December twentieth. Yeah, which. That is still a little while, yeah. Well, and relatively speaking, for the people who did do theater stuff, right, as opposed, uh, when did it come out? Like, the third, right? Something like that? Yeah, so it, it got... It's getting almost two months in theaters exclusively. And how I think Shang-Chi got roughly a similar amount of time. Before it went to Disney Plus, because when did that one? Uh, Shang Chi's Disney Plus release date. I think you are correct. No, no, no. Friday, November twelfth. Little, little. Yeah, this is a little over a month, I think it was, because Shang-Chi release date would have been, like you said, September 3rd. No, that's so... It, it basically got roughly a similar amount of time, where it was, you know, a month and 15 days or so, or something like that. So it's not bad. Uh, mm -hmm. Once again, I wonder how long that's going to end up lasting with the way trends and stuff work. But obviously the media is the media, so it still has its place. Or the movies are the movies and they still have their place. And probably always will. Uh, just stuff like that. And then once again, having taking into account stuff like Spider-Man, right? Where it's like, we're still moving in these directions. We're still getting... I actually saw a really good critique of the superhero genre. Which it wasn't even a critique of the superhero genre. But it was by the guy who played... Uh, was it Eric Sel Selwig? Uh, the the science guy in the first Thor movie. And he was saying, I liked his better than, because a lot of the directors have been coming out and they're like, it's just oversaturated. I was like, I mean, I'm, you're not wrong, right? Like, the movie industry is definitely oversaturated with, at least the blockbuster movie industry is saturated with superhero films right now. You'd probably get twice as many superhero films as any other type of film. Uh, it's it's fine. Comedy, yeah. I I yeah. I will say no one's doing it like Marvel. Um, that's just not no. They're in no comparison. I know people are always up and down, but like I'm just speaking from like. A, a abstract creative point of view of like, all right, look, man, they're retying in old plot threads into new plot threads and old universes into new universes and shit. It's like they're they're doing what they want now. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit. Damn it! I thought I fixed my camera. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we are. 
I don't know why it does that. No, I haven't either. I I I actually am just catching up on other stuff too. Where I'm like, all right, because I had, I was sick for like a week, and then this week I got sick again right after Thanksgiving. So all the stuff I was trying to do and get caught up on, I was just like, did not happen. Uh, I I did catch the very first episode of Hip Monkey, and then uh, I thought it was pretty good. The very first one was really, as far as I remember, pretty accurate. Little changes here and there, but nothing like insane. A lot of addition, I guess you could say, where it was like, villain. Oh yeah, uh, Jason Sudeikis. He plays all kinds of. What I will say that really uh, stood out to me was the art style was absolutely intriguing. Yeah, I couldn't pin it down because it was it was a mix. Yeah. Yeah. Hulu is where shit goes to die, bro. <laughs> They've got, they have a bunch. Think about, um, I mean, there were a bunch of good Hulu shows. It's just like, they don't push forward on them. They don't get the marketing that Netflix has or the like pop culture that Netflix has. And then because they're kind of known as this TV, yeah, then, then when they do do custom stuff. No, it's it's a hundred percent social media and marketing, and Hulu has got to step up their game basically because they're not hitting the trends that they need to. Let's see how can I make my hair more crazy? No, but uh, but oh, I'm scared. same eight or nine I think it's the count because WandaVision went to nine and I think um Marvel What If went to nine, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong. Oh, you still there? I can't tell if I lost you or if you lost me. One sec. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I just wanted to make sure because the sound went like, whoop. But. Yeah, it's fine. Dogs don't do that. That's not what dogs do. No, but uh, it's it's fine. Uh, I'm definitely excited for it, too. I want to check out the new Hawkeye. I want to check out more of Hitmonkey. There was something else, too, that had come out that I, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to check out. No, I, I got to catch up. I think I've got through, like, the first... Oh, jeez. Turbo Man... I mean, it's it's one of those movies. Where, like, there's, there are movies, yeah. That's that's the that's the best way I can explain that. Is like it's so bad, it's good. It's 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 so it's it's funny how messed up some of it is. It's like it's great. There's a bunch of movies like that. There was something I was thinking of and I can't remember. <sighs> oh, jeez. That one's gonna be... I feel like there's so many... At this point, the rough part is... I still haven't seen that one.
There it is. At this point... Here's the here's the fucked up part. What what happens when we get in and they aren't in there? Like they do it on purpose, where they like tease it and they're like, "Nah, fuck that Spider Man. We're not bringing him over. Why? Cause he sucks." <laughs> they did, but we, but th that one didn't have the whole. Uh, not like this one. This one would be a big troll. This would be like. Trolling the multiverse in the last one, though. You know what I mean? They did already troll one. And I, I thought it was so funny because Marvel is probably the only studio that could get away with that. Trolling the, the multiverse and be like, eh, eh, eh. Nah, just kidding. We'll do it next time. Like, it's like, just think about that. What if, D, like, DC kind of did that in their very first movie and look where that got them. Absolutely. They're bad. Speaks. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I, I mean the, the concept is fine, but really what it's going off of is the same old concept of open currency, which is really just bartering. At the like, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, money is just a replacement for value, and same for work. All the other everything else is a replacement for like value we give each other. And we just use dollars and NFTs and Bitcoins, etc. to like, really to control that value, right? Like, because, and that's what bothers me with NFTs and Bitcoin and all these other things is like, the ability to artificially mess with the market, and you could do it in a trade market too, it's not like this is ever stoppable, but it makes them so volatile and crazy that if it's not linked to something very solid, that it's, it can get lost super easily. Like, the reason the dollar is valuable and continues to be so is because it's linked to the United States government. You know what I mean? And, no, and you know what I mean? Until that government kind of just... The dollar will at least have some worth to its name. Whereas most, most cryptos, and no offense to them, I'm not even saying they're worse because our government can be bad, but most cryptos or NFTs are linked to a small team of nerds in some computer room somewhere. <laughs> which i love them and I'm not, I'm not you know dissing that i'm just saying that's the difference is some a group of small individual corporation holders versus a government from for like 200 years like you know what i mean one has a little bit of time and i'm not saying it won't go down and obviously there's big benefits to the crypto too right not being nationalized so that crypto can go anywhere same with nfts right not being centralized through a corporation. No, it's it's super cool in in you know aspect and and were you to get everything running correctly, I'm super for it. But at that point, we 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 need we just do social shit. You know what I mean? Like at that point, don't worry about cash flow if it's all just value. We're kind of bullshitting over just cover the value and then push push well producing things by like of people's demands right like uh i don't know the, the best example i can think of is like food water and shelter are basically no issue like in america if it, it's the issue isn't that we don't have it it's that it's not distributed to people and everything else is like a nicety like tv and cell phones and internet and twitch and movies all great things but definitely lower on the survival list than like water and air and food and shit or uh and so like that we're always arguing over this this and that, that whereas it's like look if you just stop arguing about bitcoins and fed each other or some sh we'd probably be all right and everybody could work and do their thing like Nobody gardens, nobody, like, think about that, like, in a, here at least, nobody gardens for food, at least generally. It's... Right, right.
Yeah, they're called Come Back Forever. Yeah, and they're nope. Uh, you get str. Yeah, that's why they're called Strawberry Patches. Yeah, we used to have some in the back. Into the the lard yet, right? Yeah. Whereas uh, some countries like Norway and stuff, there's actually very like avid farming in the back. Or even like my one friend, I remember he had a huge pottery thing where he used to grow like heads of cabbage and like. Or even thinking about my grandmother who grew fucking food year round. You know what I mean? Would have potatoes and watermelons and tomatoes out on the vine, and then when one down went down, she'd plant the next set of uh, whatever was in season. Yeah, they need a lot of water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's, there's definitely a um a difference to it. Uh, we did we used to do jalapenos and you know, they're fun. Oh yeah, that that's one of my favorite parts is just seeing all the different vines of the things that would come out because you'd have because we'd try different things every once in a while, uh, every couple years just buy random seeds from a plant you know what I mean and see what it how it how it looked when it grew. Uh, and the one that always blew me away was the eggplant, because that's how you where you get the name. Is when they're real small, they look like eggs. Yeah. They they did a lot of stuff on that release. Oh yeah. About that. I'm just hoping it goes somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they they looked fine. I <laughs> Yeah, I heard that, and I had also saw some news. Uh, I, that was w one of the ones we were thinking about doing for the trailer earlier, or I was thinking about doing, because uh, I saw news that a paleontologist had, like, uh, given him props for doing something really well in that trailer. So I'm, I'm excited to see, because I like it for its combination of, like, accurate dinosaur knowledge as well as, you know, cool-looking dinosaur scenes. <laughs> And even that was. A city, yeah. Which is just so funny to be the concept of that. Because it's like, come on, guys. We killed all of the, the goats and the wild beasts, and we have F 15 fighter jets, but we can't beat a T Rex, baby. America! <laughs> no, that's just funny. Jurassic Park is always, even the worst Jurassic Park movies are worth watching. Yeah, the worst one, still worth watching. Not great, still worth watching.
fuck this guy, mother... Which is funny, so... No, that's... It broke my little... It broke his little heart, boys. It broke his little heart. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, we most of it was in that Disney Plus. We were, although I'm not sure if we have time to talk about it today, since we're doing a shorter uh, kind of stream. So maybe we save that one for next week, and we'll get our notes fully together. Uh, one thing I did want to touch on, since I know it had come out a couple weeks ago, I thought we might. I don't think we touched on it yet because we were off that week, but they did finally release the uh, live cast for One Piece a couple weeks back. I this is just not gonna be great. Here's I don't know. There's a there's a couple reasons. One, the whole thing is really cartoony. The premise of how some of that story works is cartoony. Like, uh, the writing premises of it is like, base is based on the visuals, right? So I'm not sure how it's gonna transfer over. I want it to be good, just you know, as anybody else. I am just almost absolutely certain it won't be. Uh, and the cast has not changed my mind on that. I actually don't mind the cast. I don't think they're bad or anything. I don't really recognize any of them except for maybe, I think it's who they had as Nami? I don't remember. And then once again, I'd have no idea what they're doing with this. If they're going to do movie stuff, series stuff, like how they're going to break it down exactly. But I did want to mention it. I just had to mention that. That way people can't say we don't cover all the news. We cover all the news, even if it's biased. That son of a bitch. No, I'm uh, one last thing is, and that's the only reason I remember is because I had seen the note and it reminded me was um, my only burgeoning hope is that uh, I know for a fact the original author is involved in making the show. And is is like at least, yeah. I mean, well, the dude's a genius for one. Uh, two, he really cares about it. I I have no idea. It it, it absolutely could. He's actually done one shots and spinoffs before, in the same universe or like with the same character kind of thing. Uh. And I will say this, uh, just as, cause I'm the manga guy, so I don't even really do the anime as much, but everything that even partially he seems to work with does well. So like he does work with all the movies and all the anime, even in the filler arcs and even the filler arcs end up doing pretty decently on numbers and one piece and like views and if, and people somewhat appreciate him. people still call him filler and, you know, talk shit about him. But they, they're like, hey, this is actually not that bad. Um, yeah. But besides that, I mean, we did Hawkeye, well, as much as we could. We did Hitmonkey. We did DC League of Super Pets. Did, was there anything, uh, then Justice? was there anything else DC or that? I feel like we kind of, you know, give DC the short end of the stick sometimes. But I also feel like it's their own fault because there's never anything to talk about. I'm not gonna lie, we've we've got to get back on our comic grow because we've been a uh, <laughs> we haven't been dishing out the comic stories for comic combos, and I feel like <laughs> me too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I've uh I've heard a couple of good things. I saw like some of the playthroughs. I hadn't played it yet. I was going to play like the day it dropped last week. Uh but then I realized it was all multiplayer and they hadn't released co op yet. <laughs> Which I respect.
Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, absolutely. The thing is, they're, yeah, that would be cool. That's a that's a pretty heavy that's as I say that's a pretty heavy toll. You can do a full sky you can full do a full Skyrim run in those hours. <laughs> I until it comes out, it's gonna be tough to say. I'd love to see them do kind of what they had done with the last release, where they were doing missions released over time. Uh, like every week or whatever that keeps people on because because uh, otherwise I feel like multiplayer is going to end up being their one their heavy one I mean that's always been Halo's big claim to like I th don't get me wrong the story is great and the gameplay is great as well uh, always was a good game but their big claim was to like the birth of multiplayer in, in Xbox was like through Halo and games just like that and so I feel like much like Black Ops Zombies, this that will be the same for Halo. Like the campaign will be good, but most people are going to come for the multiplayer, which I don't think is going to be a problem because they're most likely going to do it the exact same way that they do every other multiplayer online game now, which is free to play with purchasable boxes and skins and all that shit. It's every game. It's not new. Yeah. I'm not I don't even shit on it anymore cuz literally every game does it. I I can't even shit on it anymore. Literally every single fucking game does it. And don't get me and I the only reason I actually am even fine with it is that they continue to update these games and and work on them. Otherwise, I would be very like disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Free to play, totally. But when I'm doing it for, uh, I think, I can't remember, was it Overwatch that did that? Where you paid for it originally and then you had to also pay for skins? I think that, yeah, it was, it was rough. Yeah, yeah, totally fine. I'm not going to lie, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I really enjoy, I've been enjoying the game, uh, I've been playing Apex Legends with a friend, because he's, really enjoys it, but, fuck, bro, the unlock is ungodly, way too long for the characters, like, I think I'm 60 hours in and I'm about to hit my second character unlock, that's a lot of fucking play time to get a second character, uh, granted, they only have so many, and once again, free to play, so I don't totally understand it. But I'm not gonna lie; I, I've I've done my hours, and I'm I'm getting to the point where it's like, all right, I either continue playing this game, or I just you know the next game comes along and catches my attention. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, Fortnite, yeah, Fortnite was, yeah. It, uh, not all of them, but I, I think actually that one started probably on Fortnite, or maybe somewhere else. Yep, yeah, they do the same. Uh, a lot of, most of the games that are grinder 
online cosmetically shooter based th- you know those most of the time have it i think call of duty probably has one as well i don't know for a fact because i don't play call of duty but i would be certainly surprised if they didn't Yeah, I've heard a ton of good stuff. The grapple function. <laughs> Well, me, <laughs> I was, I was laughing because like I said, we were, I was getting ready to play with some friends and like, I had like installed it and everything. I was going through the training where you do the firing as you know, I mean, you, I don't know, not everybody does tutorials, so, but I did the tutorial, it was a pretty interesting little story. And, uh, I was going through it and even the friend, yeah, you do, which <laughs> we were laughing because we got it. He's like, how does... Me, my friend's like, how does only blank percent of people have this? I was like, because no one does tutorials, bro. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, there are, even especially in the new gen, things are starting to get a little more complex because games are evolving towards that. Uh, I just think of, like, Fortnite... Yeah, yeah. All the time. It's, dude, it's... Well, it, it's why Apex throws me off all the time, is I'm like, I'm not used to being in a third-person shooter anymore, because it's been a while since I did Overwatch, and having my own abilities plus interchangeable guns, because Overwatch, you had your own abilities, but you also had custom or individualized guns, whereas Halo and Apex... And in no in Fortnite you build uh, Apex is just a really heavy movement base so it's got a bunch of sliding and running and a bunch of other shit. No, yeah, that's how every that was so. It was so funny because everyone I hear it about is just like yeah I haven't played it and then they hop on and they've got like twenty levels or something from when they first played it when it came out, but I'm like the guy who actually just never played Apex. So I I started level zero with dude and he was like, Yeah, let's go play. I was like, alright, I mean I'm I don't care, it's free. Um uh, Yeah, so and it's a pretty good game. I uh I really enjoy it. I do think there are reasons why it's you know where it is right now compared to where it uh was when it started. Yeah, it even could be, but I think that's just the the nature of gaming and the Oh, uh, it came back out again with like something. I think it the thing is Fortnite's great at marketing. I mean, that's that's the thing. They've done so much now that there's just, like, at, like they've done crossovers with Marvel, DC, Transformers, you know what I mean? At, and I respect it, but the, what I, 
yeah, concerts in the background of like, yeah, I remember when my brother was playing, he's like, did you hear Future or somebody's doing a concert? Maybe, I think it was actually Travis, uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, my, that is funny. Oh, do they have to take it? <laughs> yeah, well, and that's what I have to wonder is like with all this, their fingers everywhere, how they haven't gotten pinch somewhere with like all this but they're also making so much money it probably didn't even matter you wouldn't even hear about it if they did they just pay them off uh but yeah well it's it's not it's definitely not the top anymore like like especially as far as like streaming and gaming like yeah oh yeah kids yeah Roblox is really yeah uh, there, but that's because those are the two those are the two games that are kid oriented, which I find funny because Fortnite even really that kid oriented. It's a game about shooting people, but but well, I think what we got to remember is. Yeah, yeah. Well, now it's because of um, COVID and everything. It's more about interaction. And I think it really does come down to that, too, because when you think about the progression of gaming, and I think we'll probably end here because we're, we're already almost at a full episode. <laughs> but um, the progression of gaming really has been about more and more community, which it is fine because games are about playing with people. But originally, you know what I mean? You Games were at and that's how they started too. They were at the arcade. And you went to go play with people and you get to get high scores, whatever. But then games came to the house and you were kind of just alone. But you wanted to play with other people. You wanted to play your favorite games with other people. Hence Mario 2, you know what I mean? Uh, Bar Mario Brothers, where you get two players, right? Like then two player games and then you have co op. Then we got Wireless Land, right? And of all of it's eventually evolving into what is like currently, which is like social games, like fall uh what was it uh among us and what's it it is well it had a new release so the, and that's the thing they all get jumps when they get new releases new maps but what was the other one fall guys or fall yeah just community <laughs> it was it was pretty interesting Same with Among Us. Among Us had been out for a couple years. And that's my point, too, with the Apex thing, is it's, like, it's good and it, it has the things, but I think more and more of these community games are going to continue to, uh, you know, pervade our lives because that's really what games 1 are about is community. Unless you're playing by yourself, and then you wouldn't be playing an online game with somebody else, right? You'd be playing at home by yourself. But, yeah. No, no, no. I, <laughs> I saw some, yeah. They look pretty good. My, my, I like the visuals. My problem is it seems very similar to, to every other Dark Soul-ish game. Because <laughs> I had watched a couple of the places. No, yeah, yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah, because I'd seen a couple of playthroughs of it. Mostly, though, it's always people fighting monsters. So, like, I need to see more of the um, world. But, yeah, I think... No, no, you're you're good. I, I like I said, I ended up dragging it longer than I expected to, but it was a good one, and I think we should be good for 
you know, the rest of this week. Uh, hopefully next week we'll have more stuff. If not, we'll just cover the G2 stuff we haven't covered yet because there's definitely plenty more games that were uh, either had come out or G4, sorry. G2. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely stuff. But uh, for everybody else who was watching home, thank you for coming through. Uh, once again, barring getting sick again, uh, which it's been happening more often, so maybe I'll, I don't know, got to go see the doctor or some shit. Uh, we'll be back next week with, you know, great new stuff for episode 153. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.